A few years back during a workout, my personal trainer Richard suggested that I stand on one leg on the back or flat side of his BOSU ball. This is a BOSU ball. And while I was doing that, he wanted me to lift my other leg to my chest and then back toward the ground, but without ever touching the ground or even the ball. In other words, he wanted me to balance on one leg on a very unstable surface while moving my other leg back and forth from fully extended and touching my elbow to my opposite elbow. This may be as hard for you to visualize from my explanation as it was difficult for me to imagine myself performing this exercise when he was originally instructing me to do so. I remember looking at him, as I often did in the gym, like he was crazy. Since my glare did not discourage his insistence on my attempting the stunt, I went ahead and gave it a try. I was very deliberate, making sure that I placed my foot in the proper spot and concentrating on not falling and leaving the workout in worse shape than when I began. I was extremely careful. I was very cautious. I didn't want to make a mistake. I was playing great defense, so to speak. And I kept losing my balance as soon as I started lifting my leg up and down. My trainer walked over again and again and demonstrated effortlessly and flawlessly how to do it right, as if I'd missed some important key the first time. He just stepped up on the ball and did it. It was simple. He wasn't careful. He wasn't cautious. He just launched. So I made an important decision at that moment. I decided to just do it, as the old slogan goes. My trainer again reassured me to trust and launch. Trust and launch. I wasn't even sure exactly what he meant. Was I supposed to trust him? Was I supposed to trust God for this exercise? He didn't seem particularly spiritual at the time, but I realized just what he meant when he said, your body knows what to do, just force it to do it. So I walked to the ball quickly, stepped on the center without overthinking it, and simply started exercising. I kept my balance, worked my core, and felt awesome and accomplished when I finished. That's easy, I thought. As we discussed the principle at play, I gained some important clarity. My hesitation and negative expectation that it wasn't possible, safe, or even necessary to do this exercise interfered with my potential to get the result. Yet the very instant I made the decision to launch, I became a different student and a better athlete. When I launched on top of that oddly shaped ball, I demanded greater balance than I ever had before, and my body supplied it but not a second before I really needed it. Demand and supply at work. How often can our doubts and fears manifest as delay, procrastination, and postponement? Rather than trusting my body's ability to balance itself under unusual circumstances, I demanded to know how this would work, or even if it could work. When I finally did launch, my body took over. I still don't know how I did it, but now I don't care about that. I got the result in this instance as soon as I got out of my own way. Is there something in your life that you've been putting off? Is it in your business? Is it in your marriage? Does it involve your health and energy? If you wait until it feels right and safe, that time may never come. Why not trust God, trust yourself, and yes, even trust your body, and then blast off. Focus on the what and leave the how up to a higher power. Do it today. This is Tommy Newberry, because mindset makes all the difference.